Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the Servant FGO Servant Analysis video. I will be reacting to the newest characters that have come out. Um, BB Dubai, um, Summer uh, Dalok and uh, Summer Mysterious Heroine XX Alter. Now these three characters have come out and uh, I think this is the archetype inception. That's what this, uh, you know, like the, this is called. So yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what these characters are about. Also, before I begin my um, servant analysis video, before I start reacting to these characters, um, I actually have already summoned for these characters in my JP, um, you know, account, and uh, I've gotten them, you know. So I just wanted to mention that beforehand because I have seen their first ascension when they got summoned, and. I I was very surprised seeing Mysterious Heroine's first ascension. I wasn't expecting that. That caught me off guard, you know, because I thought the, you know, the, the, what is on the summoning banner is the first ascension. So that really caught me off guard. I'm like, damn, um, you know, I wasn't expecting that. So, you know, like that's just something that I wanted to mention in the beginning, because usually I uh, react to the servants first, then I summon. But this time I did it like, you know, like in an opposite manner. Uh, I don't know, I think the summoning video is probably already up on my channel, so you know, I just wanted to mention that, um, you know, so yeah, there you go, that was it, so let us get started, it's just like I usually do, I'll react to the characters, Noble Phantasm, their Ascension Arts, their skills, uh, you know, and the Noble Phantasm details, all these things I'll do, and give my impressions, and you know, like kind of share what I think about them, so yeah, let us get started, um, right, so as always, all the original videos that I'll be reacting to in this reaction video their links will be provided in the video description box if you want to check the original video out and uh, yeah let us get started right so first character BB Dubai or BB Cosmos Moon Cancer Servant Demonstration here we go right let's go Oh, damn. Oh my god. Just with her sheer radiance and brightness, she destroyed all the enemies. Crazy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Her. Wait, was that a red card? Oh my god. That is crazy. <laughs> the red carpet extends as she moves. And there's like. Like gold coins or no, what is that? Ah, she's rich. That is definitely. <laughs> oh my, I, I love the fact, fact that the red carpet extends whenever she moves. Yo. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god, our bodyguards come to defend her. <laughs> wow. I love this. Yup, she's sparkling. <laughs> her bodyguards are just doing the work and she's... Oh, okay. Yo, I love it. I really love it. This is so good. Mm. <laughs> A shopping bag? <laughs> Whoa, why is she throwing money? Oh. Wow, I <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this one's also crazy. Yeah, the whole <laughs> just clapping. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, her first ascension is this crazy. I wonder what her third ascension will be. <laughs> oh, this is new. Wait, what? <laughs> right. Change or something. Oh, let's see. Okay. It's different, I think. No, wait. Is, is it? No, it's the same. Okay, so the effects change. She didn't attack. Okay, okay, I see. Mm. Right. Nice. Wow, that was really good. I, I really like it. Like they went, they were very unique with the animations and stuff. Like the red carpet was the most expected, unexpected one. What the hell? She's an astronaut now? Wait. Wait, the no phantom changes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it kind of changes. Okay. Oh my god, she has planets around her. Oh. Damn! Okay, I wasn't expecting her to suddenly have a space suit on. Okay, nice! And different animation. Oh, wow! Okay, that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Oh, wow. Right. Okay, this is second ascension, I'm assuming. <laughs> oh no. Wait, oh my god. <laughs> First, is she started throwing planets, now she's playing basketball with planets. BB? Oh wow. animations were really good this was okay I'm you know I'm not that much of a big fan of it but it's still fun 
Oh, wow. <clears throat> this is my most favorite one. But she uses it as a basketball. Animations are kind of unique. Wait, that is. Yo, the skill animations are really unique here. Wait, that is GGG. What, what does that mean? It's changed from CCC to GGG. Hmm. The third ascension. I'm I'm very curious what this is going to be. The first two was re were really good. The third one is definitely going to be something crazy. Like I always love third ascensions more than the first and the. Oh no! Is it locked? No wait. It's locked. Oh wait, so oh you can level them up, but it probably won't get unlocked until Ah Oh, okay, wait, so uh, Right, so okay, I'll make another video later when her third ascension comes out. Um only reacting to her third ascension. Oh, I was looking forward to a third I was I was thinking like what crazy stuff is gonna be in the third ascension. I really love the first ascension animations. Absolutely amazing. Um, you know, the second ascension animations were, I was like, oh, it's kind of okay, you know, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, <clears throat> however, the third, second ascension skill animations were really good, they were really unique. There's one particular animation in the second ascension that I really liked, it's a basketball one. However, first ascension, except the skill, and skill animations were okay, but except that, all of the other things, her animations, each and every one of them, you know, Noble Phantasm, everything. Is fantastic. I really love the fact that they actually made so that her, whenever she moves, the red carpets moves with her. That is fa that is fantastic. I really love that. That is like that is the thing that really stood out to me. And all the other things were also really good. Obviously, you know, her literally throwing money at the enemy. You know, like just l using her bodyguards to attack the enemies, um, and then using her car to run over the enemies. You know, all of them were just so good. And literally her first ascension is her in her rich mode, basically. <laughs> you know, kind of like that, I see. Um, and I loved each and every one of the animations in the first ascension. Now, I'm, I have high expectations for the third ascension animations. I, don't, I wonder what's going to happen. Um, <clears throat> usually when it is like locked like this, it is something really good that we get, um, you know, in the third ascension. So I'm very much excited for what's going to come. Uh, I'm assuming we're probably going to get to see the third ascension within like a few maybe days like four or five days something like that I'll make a separate video then um, but yeah everything else was fantastic I, I loved her first ascension thoroughly you know I, I just love it and uh, yeah everything was great um, right so also another thing like I said I really love the fact that both her and um, you know like Ishtar as well like both the sisters <laughs> you know their original you know like you know the, their body both of the sisters literally <laughs> use the planets in whatever the way Ishtar chugs uh, planets towards the enemies uh, while BB is playing basketball with the planets that's funny <laughs> oh my god 
and uh, yeah, like I just, you know, I just realized something. We actually had both um, a Rin face and a Sakura face in um, in like in the summer and now. So we have had both the Rin face and Sakura face back to back. That's crazy. I didn't I didn't think about it like that. But you know, and yeah, um, absolutely. I, I love I love you know like her character. Everything is is it's just fantastic. Um, right. So I'm very excited to see what's going to happen with her third ascension. You know, like demonstration and all that. So <clears throat> very excited, and I've already gotten her. Like I said, I've already done the summoning video, so I've already gotten her. So you know, yeah, I'm 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 glad. And there you go. That was her um, servant demonstration. Oh, also another thing, I was surprised. I wasn't expecting her second ascension to be like her in a space suit, like an you know, like a like an astronaut, you know, like like thing. Uh, I wonder maybe that has something to do with the story. Um, if there's any type of spoilers, don't you don't need to put it on the in the comments. You know, like no spoilers, please. However, I'm assuming it's probably something to do with because she's a moon cancer, and you know, with the whole all the stuff with Seraph and everything, which is literally on the moon. Maybe that's why, like a like you know like a, like a space suit, something to do with that. I'm assuming. You know. So yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I, that surprised me. I wasn't expecting her literally in an astronaut. You know, like. A, attire right um but yeah but my personal favorite is the first ascension like the animations every single thing is just absolutely amazing like i really love it so yeah there you go all right now let me go to the next character who is summer teno titlan i'm not sure if that's how i pronounce her name i'm sorry if i butchered it but uh, you know just for simplicity's sake i'm just going to call her talok you know, summer dialogue, uh, moon cancer, servant demonstration. Let's begin. Here we go. Oh, she's a bunny. Oh. No, obviously Mecca because her original. Damn, she's. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, that's cute. Damn, she just comes in and whacks the enemy with her mecha. She's wearing a bunny suit, okay. Hmm. <laughs> right. Oh! Alright. Oh, right. Oh my god. The third. The extra attack. <laughs> okay. My God. <laughs> right. So yeah, obviously her mecha and yeah. So her, you know, obviously her animations has a lot to do with the mecha. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, that was cool. Oh, we already saw that. Ooh, wait, she just jumps into the... <laughs> right. Nice. Alright, I, 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 like, I like a few of them, you know, like, for example, the one where she literally jumps in. The one with the gun. Hmm. Wait, did she just... <laughs> oh wow, that is a crazy skill animation. Oh boy. Hmm. Mm. 
新型で蹂躙するわゴミだから簡単には潰さないどうにかなるまで板ぶってあげるおっかんよう、だけ。The sound is just. Okay, you know what? Yeah, she's okay. I, you know, I'm, I'm okay with her animation. I really like Talok as a character. You know, her character design is absolutely perfect. <laughs> her character design is absolutely perfect. I always love. Okay, that's it. I always like her, like, and I love her character design and her, no, her original, um, the, the original ser servant self as well. That character design as well. Absolutely fantastic. Um, the animations and the noble phantasm, though, you know, there's a few of them I really like. For example, where she jumps into that little swimming pool that brings out. That skill animation was really good, the third one, where she just sits down and, like, it's like, like you, know, you know, dipping her toe inside the swimming pool. Um, that one and the one where she goes and like you know, just attacks with the gun that whole thing all those ones I really like uh, however I'm not really a big fan of mecha you know like you know in itself so I'm I'm kind of neutral on the whole like mecha animations the noble phantasm though it was really good because in the end there was a section you see where she, you can see she's just sitting on the mecha's hands and she's smiling that part was really light I really liked it so even though the noble phantasm has the whole mecha thing into it I really like that, you know, as a whole because of the final section. So the Noble Phantasm is good. I really like it. Um, you know, the animations, there's a few of them, but you know, the others were okay. The mecha, you know, the extra mecha animation was cool, but you know, I kind of prefer, you know, to see the characters in themselves. I'm not a huge mecha fan, you know, so seeing the characters themselves do stuff, I kind of prefer it. Uh, but that's just my preference, you know, I'm, I know, like, you know, like, a lot of people loves Mecha. I'm, I'm probably in the minority, like, you know, uh, who doesn't really like Mecha. Um, but, uh, like, majority of the people loves Mechas, so, you know, I can, you know, I can, I can see that. So it's just, just a me thing. Uh, but overall, I, I like her character, obviously. You know, her character design is superb, you know, with the bunny suit and everything. Her character design in itself is really good. I really, I'm a big fan of her character design as a whole. Um, right. <clears throat> so yeah, that was Talok, uh, Summer Talok, and she's also a Moon Cancer. Interesting. So wow. So this uh, banner has two Moon Cancers and a Foreigner. That is crazy, <laughs> bro. Wow. And you know the previous few banners we've been getting is like filled with Moon Cancers. Crazy. Before we didn't even have like we just had like one Moon Cancer or something like that. <laughs> Back when I played the game, like when I began the game, it was like one or two moon cancers. <laughs> and now it's just raining moon cancers. What? <laughs> I, I guess it makes sense. Obviously, it's like, you know, like the, the whole st story was happening now is based on that. So it makes sense. Okay. Um, and there you go. That was Summer Talok. Now for the final character who is Summer Mysterious Heroine XX Alter. Servant demonstration. Here we go. Okay, this ascension surprised me when I summoned for her. Oh! <laughs> Wait, she has double sights? That is crazy! Oh yeah, this is cool. This is also mecha, but I really like this. The colors and everything is just making it so much better. God damn! Oh yeah. <laughs> You know, I love the red and the green mixture. And red, green and black mixture. It's, it's very unique. Oh. Wait, is it? <laughs> god. Oh my god. Okay, I love I love the animations. The animations are great. <clears throat> yeah, and the double sides. Oh, beautiful. I love it. Hello. <clears throat> 
Wait, a boomerang. <laughs> Quite a few NP buffs. Hmm. Oh. From a distance, she really looks like Salter. Which obviously makes sense. She is a saber face, so. Like from a distance, you look at her and I'm like, oh my god, that's Salter. Okay, that that particular animation is my favorite. These ones are really good as well. <coughs> good job. Good job. <laughs> uh, Right, okay, I like her. I like her animations and Oh, so this is her second ascension? <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, this is also one of my favorites. This a animation. <laughs> yeah, the animation is the same, but her like you know voice and everything changed because she's not wearing her armor. Right. Bursasu. <laughs> 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 Okay. So she like uses boomerangs, like yo yo. I'm guessing those are like yo yo type of things. She uses sights as well. Wow. Interesting um, collection of weapons she uses. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, she doesn't have to take out her armor because, you know. She's chew. <laughs> She's trying to chew on the ice cream. Okay. Hmm. Wait, so we have a Buster NP. We had a quick NP and an arts NP in this banner. <laughs> the sound effects are crazy. Mm, oh, 
<laughs> what? He's asking if she's become the heroine? Oh. Okay, that's it. And there you go. That was um, Mysterious, Summer Mysterious Heroine XX Alter. Now, I really like her animations. You know, every single one of them are really good, very unique. Now, like I said, I really love the fact that they, her color theme is really like red, black, and green. I don't know, it's, it, it makes for a very, like, a very good combination. I really like that combination. Um, and that is why, you know, when she was, uh, like, attacking the red, like, like, you know, like, the graphical effects, the red visual effects, looking, we're looking really nice, or at least I really liked them, uh, you know. The sound in the Noble Phantasm was crazy, you know, the whole, I don't know what you call that, but when they kind of increase the bass, I think, like, it makes, like, a weird type of a, like, you know, like a distorting, like, you know, noise. They were doing that, um, and uh, you know, like that that thing. Um, the whole scythe. I, I was really. I'm a big fan of the whole scythe. You know, like her using the scythes. Not only scythes. She was like using yo-yos and stuff, and like you know, like boomerangs. <laughs> you know, everything. She's very unique. You know, I really love the. You know, quite how unique she is. Um, and oh, her first ascension, obviously with the armor, is very interesting because first and foremost, her voice kind of gets distorted because she's talking through the armor, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's uh, you know, I I wasn't expecting that armor. I love the fact that on the armor, there's literally like a face drawn, which is just so funny. That looking at that face is so hilarious. She's her eyes are kind of like you know I don't know, it's like a, in a weird way like how you draw emojis. That's how it's like you know drawn on her face. That's funny. <laughs> So, you know, I, I, I love her first ascension as well. It's, it's, it's quite unique. I really like it. So overall, <clears throat> I, I really love her character um, and, uh, you know, the animations and everything. It's really good. Um, yeah, so I also like her. The, uh, you know, like I, I like all the characters. The only thing that I, you know, wasn't really, I was kind of neutral about was uh, Summer Talok's animations. A few of them I kind of liked. But other than that, every single thing from this banner I really like especially BB BB's the first ascension takes a cake you know like, like absolutely fantastic I I love her first ascension her animations and everything it's absolutely gorgeous and you know I'm really looking forward to what they're going to cook for the third ascension <laughs> like really it's going to be difficult to top the first a ascension but you know I have high hopes let's wait and see um yeah, and uh, her, uh, you know, like, um, so, uh, yeah, so there you go. That was my reaction to all the servant animation demonstrations. Now, I am going to go to <coughs> reacting to the characters themselves. Um, so, first, I'm going to react to BB's Ascension Arts. Then, I'm going to go to her skills. Then, I'm going to go to the next character, talk about their skills, then the next character. That's how I'm going to end it. So first and foremost, um, BB's um, Ascension Arts, okay, this is the first one. Now we've all seen this, I love this, this Ascension Art, I, I really love it. It's first and foremost, obviously, you know, her face is full of sass. Look at that face. <laughs> just look at that face. She's just looking at you and just smirking at you, laughing at you. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, probably insulting you as well. You know, that face is amazing. I, I love the way that sass just oozes out of her face. And this is BB we're talking about. Obviously, that's going to be sassy. And, I, and, and to, put, <laughs> to put, you know, um, a little bit of spice onto it, the way she's like laughing like this, you know, with the whole Ojo-sama laugh, that's fantastic. I just love it. You know, <laughs> her expression in itself is worth everything. Oh boy, and the way she's just laughing, like, and the way she's just, you know, yeah. And obviously her dress is gorgeous as well, and uh, her hair, bruh, her hair is... Who's her hairstylist? <laughs> what, has, what has they done to make the hair curl like that? <laughs> her dress is, like, you know, the black dress with the glittering gold at the bottom, you know. Like, this ascension art is amazing. You know, I don't really, I'm, I've said this before as well, most of the time, I prefer the third ascension animation, most of the time, no, not animation, sorry, third ascension. I am saying this is going to be tough to top the first ascension this time at least. 
because I love this an ascension so much. I don't know what they're going to do for the third ascension, but unless and until it's something crazy, this will probably be my most favorite ascension. I absolutely love this ascension so much, you know. But we'll see. I might be proven wrong, you know. Like, I don't know what they're going to do for the third ascension. Like, let's see if they can top this. But this, for me, is a top of, like, you know, like, yeah. And, uh, yeah. I, I love this ascension so much. And there's, you can see, like, there's, like, three or four bodyguards just praising her. Just, you know. And she's just laughing at your face. <laughs> oh, God. And, uh... Those are like, I, I don't know what those are. Those are like little sparkles all like you know, on, on the ground. And uh, yeah, perfect ascension art. You know, absolutely 10 out of 10. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. So there you go. Uh, now, the next ascension art is, wait a minute, this one. Okay, so yeah, you can literally see she's out, in outer space. So that's... Wait a minute. Is that the Earth? That's the Earth. Oh, wait. So, oh, the Earth and the Moon. I just realized. Oh, I didn't properly, like, you know, think about it up until now. But, wait, then what is that underneath her? Like, if that is the Earth on one hand, and that is the Moon on the other hand, what is behind her? You know? You know what? I have no idea. But she's, she has literally the earth and the moon as, as she's using, using them as basketball, as we saw in the ascension demonstration. Interesting. Okay, obviously, the rest of the ascension art is her just wearing the spacesuit. And I don't, I don't know why. Usually, spacesuits cover everything. I don't know why her legs are all bare. You know what? This is BB. I think she can literally do anything. I don't think, you know, like, yeah, so there you go. Um, right, and <laughs> that's a very interesting <laughs> design spacesuit, you know. <laughs> um, she, she doesn't look happy inside that spacesuit. She's scowling at, you know, at, at the camera. She doesn't seem amused <laughs> at all. It seems someone put her in that spacesuit and she's not happy at all. <laughs> look at her face, just scowling at you. <laughs> Oh boy, her expressions are funny. Um, right, anyways, um, yeah, and she's just... Yeah, I don't know what else to say about this Ascension Man. It's just she's wearing spacesuit. And a very interestingly designed spacesuit as well. And she just has like moon on one hand and the earth on another hand. So, yeah. There you go. Um, I'm not really a big fan of this Ascension Man. Uh, you know, but the first one takes a cake, obviously. So I'm, I'm waiting for what the third ascension is going to be. Um, so yeah, that was the second ascension. Now, obviously, the third ascension and the final ascension, both of them hasn't been released. So when they will be released, I will talk about, uh, not talk about, sorry, I'll make a separate video reacting to that ascension. And, you know, and then I'll, I'll give my opinion and all that. Like, I'm very curious. Like I said, first ascension is like very high on my list it will be very difficult to uh, surpass the first ascension you know like at least in my book so i'm i'm curious you know like usually i like the third ascension uh, most of the time so i'm curious whether this time that will also be will be the case or th will this be the first time i actually like you know like the first ascension more than the third ascension not the first time but you know one of the rare times uh, we'll see anyways now let me go to her skills um let me see wait a minute <clears throat> okay so first and foremost her um she has quick quick arts arts and buster her buster has four hits has arts has four hits her quick has five hits and her extra has five hits also her noble phantasm has five hits right now, let me go and look at her skills properly. Okay, I'm in Reddit. I'm reading this from Reddit. And, then, you know, let's see. Um, so, BB Dubai slash BB Cosmos. Um, okay. First skill is Urban Reconstruction. EX. Increase arts card effectiveness 10 to 20% for 3 turns. Okay. 
and NP got 10 to 20 percent for all allies. Oh no, increase Askar effectiveness and NP gauge for all allies. But, uh, okay. Apply protected areas for all allies except yourself. Okay, increase NP strength 20 to 30% and NP gain 20 to 30% for all moon cancers, all living human allies. Oh, okay, interesting. Wow, that's quite a big amount, isn't it? Like uh, NP strength by 30% and NP gain by 30% for all moon cancers so you will be very much um i guess you could say you'll be very much um like you'll benefit a lot if you actually use other moon cancer allies with her oh what if we decide to use like double bb dubai wouldn't that make her np strength and np game like 60 percent because you can use twice the skills i'm assuming these will stack Oh, okay. That 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 will be very like you know I I I think that will be very good if you use double BB Dubai, then you know since both of them are moon cancers and both of them you can use the skill you can actually get like double the effectiveness. Okay, okay. The first skill is really good actually. You know like not only does it increase Askar effectiveness and NP gauge, uh, but it also increases like you know like um NP strength and NP gain for moon cancer allies obviously or living human allies, um. Uh, yeah, and also it apex applies protected areas. Now I'm not really sure what that means. We'll see that later on. I think it will probably come to play later on. I'll I'll keep that in mind. Okay, the second skill is Lagrange Luxury EX. Is that what it is? Lagrange. What is that? Lagrange. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Uh, remove buffs and decrease attack eighty to hundred percent. Wait, what? Remove buffs and decrease attack 80 to 100 percent one turn and R scart resist 10 to 20 to 20 percent for three turns and apply not protected three turns for all enemies plus increase critical star drop rate 50 to 100 percent three turns and critical strength 20 to 30 percent for three turns for all moon cancer or living human allies okay interesting what the wait decrease attack by 80 to 100 percent wait so does that mean that the enemies won't will hit you but it won't work like what else does it mean here's another thing it also removes buffs so if the enemies had like a extra 30 percent attack increase buff you know that will also get removed so that means literally 100 percent decrease in attack means they won't do any damage to you for one turn, obviously. Wait a minute, let me go to another side. Is this, is this real? Okay, Lagrange Luxury removes all allies buffs, reduces the attack power one turn. Yeah, oh my god, <laughs> that is crazy. 100% attack decrease. So this is literally like a, um, I guess you could say like kind of like an evade or like, you know, invincible. The only thing is that even if the enemies use an like you know like fierce invincible, it won't work because it's not really that. It's basically reducing attack to by hundred percent. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. I think I'm correct to say hundred percent attack reduction means zero attack because the enemies won't really hit you, and they're also taking out the buff. So there's no extra you know attack like you know like if the enemy had like a buff which increases it by thirty percent. So it had like 130% attack. Then by reducing it by 100%, it, it would make sense. They would do a little bit of damage. But they're also removing the buffs. So the buffs will become like you know, removed. And then only, I guess, um, there is like a buff removal resist for the enemy. If, there's a, if the enemy has like a buff removal resist and like an increased attack, then I guess it might not work perfectly. But unless and until that happens, I'm guessing the enemy, when they'll attack you, they'll do zero damage to you for that one turn only because it reduces by 100%. Wow, I, I didn't think I'd ever, I'd, I'd ever see something like this. Wow, that's interesting. Also, like I said, um, this again helps moon cancer like, you know, allies. It increases critical uh, star drop and uh, critical strength for moon cancer allies and living human allies. Again, so having moon cancers will benefit you hugely uh like literally two of the skills are moon cancer related also 
they use she uses not protected for all enemies so the first skill gives you protected areas for all allies except yourself the second skill use gives non protected to all enemies okay next the third skill is called golden moon city ex reduce skill cooldown by 1 increase np gauge 30 to 50% charge np uh, sorry change np ccc or ggg for yourself which we saw in the demonstration okay so this reduces school cooldown by one increases np by 50 percent and you can change the np hmm. okay cooldowns first and the second uh, 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 skill cooldown is uh, maximum eight and minimum is six the third skill cooldown maximum nine minimum seven right now for the noble phantasm there's two noble phantasm as we saw first one is called ccc or cosmos craft crater EX Arts apply special attack sky attribute 30% by one turn uh, for one turn and special attack star attribute 30% one turn for yourself okay sky attribute and star attribute okay deal not protected special attack damage which we saw they used on the enemies NP 450 to 750% uh, overcharge 150 to 200% and decrease arts card resist 20% three turns for all enemies all right so this one makes use of the not protected the one that the second uh, skill applies on the enemies I'm assuming the second and uh, NP the GGG probably has something to do with the protected one let's see the next one is called GGG or gold gigant garment okay oh gold gigant garment I see EX um, arts apply invincible one turn okay and debuff immune one turn and increase NP strength uh, NP 30 to 50 percent uh, three turns for all allies plus increase NP gauge overcharge 30 to 50 percent for all protected allies there you go accept yourself yeah so okay I see that makes sense so the wow interesting so like all the skills are kind of interconnected the first skill gives your allies protected so if you are going to be using the GGG, then you're supposed to use the first skill. You know, like you're definitely supposed to use the first skill. Or if you use the CCC, then you're supposed to use the second skill, which pro provides non-protected to all allies, uh, so to all enemies. Um, and the third skill obviously helps you change from CCC to GGG. Interesting. And like I said, the Noble Phantasm, they're called CCC Cosmos Craft Crater, which obviously it seems like it the, it sounds like like an offensive attack you know while the second one is called ggg gold gigant garment which seems like a protective attack you know gold gigant garment garment means like a dress so you're literally protecting yourself which kind of uh, you know kind of you can like you know kind of interconnect it with what it does it gives you invincible and it also increases np gauge for protected allies interesting her skills have quite a few Quite a few things, like you know, for example, uh, as we saw, more moon cancer allies you have, the more uh, you, you be benefiting from this. That's number one. Um, you know, so so the first skill already gives you like NP strength increase and NP gain. Also, if you use GGG, you're also going to give your allies an you know NP gauge increase as well. So having her will probably help a lot to increase NP and stuff. Not only that, the second skill for Moon Cancer allies gives them increased critical strength, increased critical drop rate, you know, all that stuff it gives you. Um, yeah. And also, like, that crazy thing which decreases attacks by 100%. I still cannot believe my eyes. Like, that's, a, that's an actual thing now. Decreasing attack by 100%. Uh, I, I don't really remember much, but... Is this, I think this is the first time we've seen something like this, or maybe there's other characters who have done this before. I don't remember, but I cannot recall. But that's interesting. Like, it's not really an evade or an invincible, it just decreases attack, enemy attack by 80 to 100 percent. Hmm. Right, now, here's the thing I am not really sure, like, looking at her kit, since it has so many things it can do. You know it has like this kit is like very i guess you could say kind of complicated in a sense because you have to think about of quite a few things for example like you know the moon cancer allies that will have will greatly benefit from her skill kit 
Also, you have to think of which one to use, CCC or GGG, based on what you use or what your main target is. I guess you'll have to change the allies based on that as well, you know. Um, so because of all of that, I'm not really sure how to properly use her with other allies, but I can say that her skill kit probably makes it very, like, interesting. And, you know, like, you'll probably be able to get a, quite a few gameplay, I guess you could say, way of you know, using her in on the battlefield. Like, quite a few, like, she, she, I feel like she'll be quite versatile as a character. At least looking at her kit, that's what I feel like. So, you know, people who will be using her from here onwards and, you know, who have already used her and probably broken down and uh, thought about what she can do, they'll probably be able to give a better understanding to what she can do and everything. But from me, you know, like from, from an amateur's point of view, um, she, she, her kit seems very interesting and I think she will be quite an interesting character. Um, and uh, will be quite versatile as well. Like you can literally, like I said, if you use double BB, like, you know, double BB Dubai, that in itself is going to increase her power immensely because she herself is a moon cancer and the, the skills that she uses will be applied on the other character. So you can perfectly use, um, you know, like her skills along with another BB skills to get double the effect or something like that. I think you can do um, right. <clears throat> okay, passives. Uh, item construction C. Increase debuff success by 6% for yourself. Magic resistance EX. Uh, increase debuff resist by 25% for yourself. Future management A. Increase critical resist 20% and critical star gather rate 20% for yourself. Core of goddess A. Apply damage plus 250 damage. Increase debuff resist 25% for yourself. Human order assessment attack B. Increase attack 10% against evil. Or good special attack or not servant enemies hmm. human order assessment defense b increase defense by 20 percent damn against lawful or evil special attack or servant enemies okay append three deal increase damage 20 to 30 percent against moon cancer enemies okay living human here we go i was curious about what this means marsh light okay so characters who are still alive and who are human i'm assuming so marsh light makes sense uh, Lord El Meloy makes sense. Ryogi Shiki, okay. Elias Veal von Einsburn, okay. Um, Chloe von Eisenburn makes sense. Ishtar, okay. Jaguar Warrior. So all the characters, you know, who are kind of still alive in the Fate universe, like Ilya, Rin, you know, Sakura, you know, Taiga, here we go, Jaguar Warrior, Parvati, Asagami, Fujino, Miu, Simai or Rhinus, Astraya, who is Luvia, Grey, Great Statue God, which is Jinako, Utsumi Eris, you know, makes sense. Um, Senji Muramasa, who is literally like, you know, Shiro. Amor, Karen, Mananan, which is Bazet, Tezcalipoca. Oh. Was that a spoiler? I think so, maybe. Right. Um, interesting. Huh. Durga, makes sense. Aozaki Aoko, okay. Shizuki Sojiro, okay. Kuchikon's G Alice. Azimuno is sort of Hibaki in Hibiki in Chikagi, okay. Mysterious Executor Seer. Yeah, so basically, all the characters were just there alive still. Um, this Kalipo kind of in is interesting. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to think about it more. I think it probably has something to do with Lost Bell 7. You know, I, I feel like I was almost going into spoiler territory. Let me just stop. <laughs> and there you go. That was BB Dubai's skill. Very interesting character, you know. Yeah. Like, it's very interesting. Hmm. All right, now let me uh, go to the next character. Uh, Summer Talox, Ascension Arts. Now, the first Ascension Art is this one. And as you can see, she's on the beach with a swimsuit and a water gun. There's a jacket over her as well. She's wearing sunglasses. And uh, yeah, so her obviously her water gun really reminds me of um, Artoria, you know, Archer's water gun that she uses. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, yeah, there you go. And obviously, have we seen her noble phantasm? She like brings out the mecha and everything. Um, right. So, I, I, like I said, I'm a big fan of her character design in itself. I really love her like hair, 
you know her her character like kind of design and everything it's really good um and uh, we have a summer variant of her um everyone loves her or at least i think so you know <laughs> and uh, yeah there you go nice really good um and uh, I, like i said i i think i've already you know i don't know if i mentioned it but i actually got every one of them like in the summoning uh, you know that i did i got bb dubai i got her and i got uh mysterious heroine alter x as well so all of the characters i've actually gotten so i already have her nice so yeah that is her first ascension art um it's good okay now we have the second ascension art which is this one and she has changed here into a, like you know like a dress and uh, she has her glasses over here at the, at the bottom in the bag okay she's wearing a nice little hat um nice she's just <coughs> in previous ascension she was just you know having fun and like you know swimming in the water probably playing games and everything now she has probably just you know like done everything and she just wore the dress and now she's just going to chill in the in the shade of the tree or something i don't know <laughs> it seems like that she had had her fun and now she's just going to chill you know um a nice little you know in the in the sea beach um right and very simplistic color scheme you know obviously her character design in itself has like a blue and a black you know her hair and everything and then on top of that she has like a whole white like you know like a color uh, you know the dress that she's wearing has a white color to it thing to it you know it, it really matches well with the blue black you know white that kind of thing i like it um right and that was her second ascension now we have a third ascension which is this one and now suddenly she's wearing a bunny suit i don't know why <laughs> no idea why but you know what it's a bunny suit i don't think anyone will complain <laughs> and uh, yeah it's you know she has like two little ears and yeah, and it's, it's literally a bunny suit. Like, what else can I say? Oh, she has something on her hand, though. I'm not even sure what that is. It's like a, like a, like a weapon. And her bunny suit is fancy. Just look at it. Like, you know, like the, even the jacket that she's wearing is like, yeah, there's so many designs and everything. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is her third ascension. Interesting. Like I said, I'm, I'm not really sure why she's wearing a bunny suit suddenly. But it's probably something to do with the event. So, you know. <laughs> right. And uh, there you go. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a cute ascension. I like this, you know. like uh, Yeah, this is probably my favorite ascension. This one. <laughs> out of the other two. Um, right. So, yeah, there you go. And it's, it's also like nighttime. You can see the background is like, it's kind of like the evening. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Now the final ascension is this one and she's still in her bunny suit and uh, yeah she's just there like laying on oh is that oh she's in the swimming pool i i see i think so at least she's like beside the swimming pool i think something like that like you in her ascension you know like a demonstration you can see there's a skill where she literally summons a swimming pool and like puts her water leg like feet inside the water no, I'm guessing that's what she's doing or whatever. Yeah, uh, you know, a cute, cute final ascension. I like her. Her ascension arts are, are cute and nice. I like all of them. Uh, especially the third one, obviously, and this one. <laughs> yeah, so that, there you go. That is Summer Dalok. Now, let me go to her skills. So, first and foremost, obviously, she's a moon cancer. And uh, her buster, okay, so she has quick, quick art, buster, buster. She has... 4 hits in her buster card, 4 hits in her arts card, 4 hits in her quick card, and 5 hits in her extra attack. Her NP has 6 hits. <clears throat> okay, now let me go to her skills. Okay, first skill, Squall Panic. A. Increase NP gauge 20%. Okay, restore 500 to 1000 HP per turn for 3 turns. Okay, increase attack 10 to 20%. Um, 3 turns for all allies. Okay, increase attack 10% three turns for all enemies. I was seeing, I, I noticed this in the demonstration. I was like, wait, did she just increase the attack for the enemies as well? <laughs> what the hell? Um, okay, so, right. So she increases NP gauge, restores HP, increase attack, and also increases attack for the enemy, which is 10%, a little, like, you know, less than 20%, but yeah. Hmm. 
um yeah it's an okay skill you know like you get like a little bit of uh extra np you know it restores a bit of hp every turn thousand hp and a little bit increased attack the enemies also get a little bit increased attack but yeah i mean yeah, I, I feel like 10 percent is ah 10 percent is still quite a bit you know like if you think about it uh at least from the enemy's perspective like you know the enemies deal quite a bit of damage so yeah but you know okay the second one is called summer wars a apply target focus 300 percent three turns increase defense 30 to 50 percent ah okay that is why the first skill even though the increased attack won't really affect that much because if you use the second skill it uses targets target focus and increases defense by 50 percent that's quite a bit you know by for three turns apply a state where np strength is increased 10 percent three turns when damaged for yourself there you go all right so i see that is why the first skill you know like it it increases the attack but it won't really be a big deal because if you use the second skill along with the first skill it's going to give target focus for you for three turns not for one turn three turns and increase defense again for three turns by 30 to 50 percent 50 percent is quite a bit of defense you know and uh, in np strength will be increased by 10 percent for three turns when damaged um okay uh three turns for yourself wait so if you're using target focus on yourself that means you're going to get hit three times at least every turn maybe two times sometimes um if the character decides to use a buff or something so damn you can actually increase your np by quite a bit you know by getting just hit by the enemy because each time you get hit i think yeah 10 percent increase in np strength each time you get hit right okay that's quite good interesting all right um but you know you need to have characters who can like heal you and stuff even though your defense will get increased by 50 percent still getting hit each and every time for three turns is quite a bit <laughs> of damage you'll get right okay and then we have moon rabbit ex which is the third skill increase quick card effectiveness 20 to 30 percent for three turns buster card effectiveness 20 to 30 percent for three turns apply evade for one turn for yourself okay increase critical strength 20 to 30 percent for three turns and reduce skill cooldown for all bunny servant allies oh my god <laughs> oh okay wait bunny servant hmm wait i'm the only rem I, bunny i remember is artoria bunny who else are there oh i guess koyanskaya koyanskaya is a bunny servant isn't she i think so i would assume so is she i'm not really sure <laughs> um skasaha has a bunny suit she's not really a bunny servant though oh i guess um is astolfo <coughs> <coughs> does astolfo fall in it because he has like a astolfo saber it's like a bunny i don't know but anyways um right okay you know what his, his skills are quite good i i like it because you know the first skill is going to uh like help you restore your hp obviously which is going to help with the second skill which will put target apply target focus on yourself for three turns and increase the defense so the increased defense will help you mitigate the damage the in restoring hp for the first skill is going to help you get back that that is going to damage that you'll get it will help you restore that so you can stay strong for three turns um and apply a strength where np is increased for every time you get hit so basically you use the first two skills get hit for one or two times uh, you know one or two turns and then you use the third skill which will increase your quick card effectiveness buster card effectiveness and uh, it'll also apply evade and increase critical strength and reduce all school down okay and then you do the mobile phantasm i think which you know by that time the more you get hit the more the attack extra increase you know will stack np and strength increase will stack and the more damage you can deal right her cooldowns all of them maximum eight minimum six okay her skills seem quite balanced with each other you know she you know she 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 seems good she actually seems quite good um okay the noble phantasm what does it do armored tenochtitl tenochtitlan yeah tenochtitlan i think that's how it's pronounced uh, b plus um apply ignore invincible one turn 
and increase NP strength. Oh my god, this further increases NP strength. Overcharge 20-40% for one turn for yourself. Deal super giant special attack damage, NP 600 to 1000% plus 150% and decrease defense by 20% for three turns for all enemies. Wow, she seems quite interesting. Her, her skills are quite balanced with each other. And they, they really connect it, you know. Like, not only do the second skill gives you increased NP, the NP in itself increases NP strength. And not only that, it also decreases defense by 20% for three turns for all allies. Also ignores invincible. And if we can overcharge it, it's even better. Hmm. Right, she actually seems like a solid character. Um, Alright, let's look at her passives. Territory creation EX. Increase R scar effectiveness by 12% buffer for yourself. Divinity E. Apply damage plus 100 damage for yourself. Water sidebar business A plus. Increase critical strength 20% for yourself when near a water field. Okay. City state alliance. No effect. Capital of Moon B. Increase quick effectiveness and R scar effectiveness by 5% and critical strength by 5% for yourself. In apply damage cut 200 damage for all allies when on the field. Append 3. Increase. Deal increased damage 20 to 30 percent, uh, percent against pretender enemies. All right, bunny servants. Who are the bunny servants? Oh, Ane Bonnie Mary Red. Okay, makes sense. Rider and Archer, Kasaha, Piercing Bunny. Oh, so Kasaha also falls underneath. Yeah, all right. Ryogi Shiki, de decapitating bunny. Wait, so do you need to have the 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 particular um, spirit on dress? For them to fall on in the bunny category. Because you can see Skasa is piercing bunny. Ryogishiki, you need to have the decapitating bunny. Which is also another costume, I think. Yeah. A stall for rider. Memories at Triffus. Paul Bunyan. Mad bunny. Okay, so alright, I think you need to have the spirit on dresses. Artoria Pendragon Ruler. Ascension 1 and 3. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Um uh, Artoria Pendragon Ruler, yeah, there you go. One and three. Wait, so if you're in Ascension 2, will this not work? A stall for Saber, there you go. Koyanskaya, there you go, I was correct. Super Bunyan, Ascension 3. Arturia Caster, Berserker, wait a minute. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Ascension 2. Aozaki Aoko. <laughs> That's funny. Technotil and Moon Cancer, Ascension 3. You know, I, I literally underneath this um, <laughs> underneath this uh, Reddit post, someone had asked what makes Aoko and costumed Astolfo bunny servants. I don't know about Astolfo though. Aoko is kind of funny because you know people who have played Mahoyo will know this. But there's a particular um, section in Mahoyo where they kind of say that Aoko has put on like a bunny suit and they like someone like took a picture of it or something they even have a picture or i don't know if that's a fan art or if that's an official art but there's a picture where Aku's like putting on like the bunny ears with a bunny suit and someone has secretly taken that picture <laughs> that's the origin for the bunny suit for Aoko. i was like like people obviously people will be confused who haven't played mahoyo they'll be like what how is Aoko? i was like a bunny character that's that's why isn't it like correct me if i'm wrong i'm pretty sure that's why um yeah that is why okay um here the answer is astolfo's costume has bunny yes aoko will change into bunny suit for one of her skill animations yeah but the origin is that i'm pretty sure the origin is that where in mahoyo they literally say that aoko actually put on a bunny suit like it's not just because in one of her skill animations she puts on a bunny suit but the actual origin is that as far as i know you know like that's <laughs> that's funny that, that's why they included Aoko. <laughs> oh god that's funny anyways uh there you go that is summer talog she actually seems like a solid character you know like yeah it's she like all her skills are very interconnected and everything um she looks quite solid um let me know what you think all right now for the final character who is mysterious heroine alter xx um let's look at her ascension art first ascension art is this one um like i said you'll probably see it you know if you've already watched my summoning video you'll probably see it there 
I was so surprised seeing when she got summoned. I was like, wait, what is this Ascension art? I was so confused at the beginning. I was like, who's this? And then I realized that it's her because I thought her first Ascension is the second Ascension. You know, so, you know, you... <laughs> so yeah, this, I love this Ascension art just because just look at her face. It seems someone like put on like a, with a, like a painting, they painted her eyes on. And it's like a, like, you know, they literally painted like emoji eyes on her. That's funny. Um, the way she's like, you know, looking at you, <laughs> that, that little, you know, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Um, this Ascension art is, is very nice. I really like it. Again, I've said this while reacting to her. I like the color combination of red, black, and green. It looks really good. She has double sights in both of her hands. She literally has like floating discs behind her, like four of them, which she uses as yo-yos. She somehow brings out a boomerang from somewhere as well. So she has like an arsenal of very interesting weapons. Um, and uh, you know, this is like a whole ass mecha suit and uh, she looks quite cool in this, you know. Um, yeah, so overall, this Ascension art is really good. And uh, yeah, like I like it, I really like it. So this is the first Ascension. Now. Let's look at her second ascension, which is this one. And here she has just taken out her um, helmet, I think. Yeah, that's what she has done. Because her dress and her mecha, you know, the body, still the same. So just, she just took out her helmet. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much difference other than that. She's still dual wielding her sights. She still has the, the body, the mecha body. Yeah, that's it. There you go. And obviously this is, you know, she's, she's just there. Okay. The third ascension is this one. And here you can see she's actually changed. She's actually taken out her mecha bodysuit and now she's wearing a swimsuit. Now this is like, I, I look at her from a distance and at first, you know, even the color and everything, the, the black swimsuit color re really, I, I really thought for a moment that was Salter. You know, when I was looking at her noble phantasm, I was like, damn, that looks like Salter. But yeah, which makes sense. Obviously, she, she is a saber face. <laughs> She's literally a saber face. And even her, um, like, swimsuit is also reminding me so much of uh, Artoria made swimsuit as well. You know, if you're Artoria rider made um, that swimsuit. So, you know, like, from a distance, it seems like that's literally Salter. Um, but yeah, she's just wearing this and, and, and be, 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 behind her, there's like a water ball or something. And, uh, there you go. And there, there she is. Uh, right. Yeah. Good, good ascension. And then we have the final ascension, which is this one. And here you can see she's having some ice cream. Right. And she has quite a plethora of desserts beside her as well. Oh, she also has her, her gaming console <laughs> beside her. Oh, uh, and she has like a, like a little stick ice cream on her hand. Yeah. Okay, nice. She, you know, she looks cool. Yeah, I, I like all her ascension arts. It's, it's nice. Like her, all her ascension arts are good. Um, there you go. Now, let me look at her skills. So... Okay, first and foremost, she has quick arts, buster, buster, buster. So buster cards have four hits, arts card have four hits, quick cards have four hits, extra attack has five hits. Noble Phantasm has seven hits. Damn. Right. Now, her skills. <clears throat> first skill is called Quantum Armor A. Apply invincible two terms for two times for three turns. Increase attack by 20 to 10 to 20 percent for three turns. Gain five to 15 crit stars per turn for three turns for yourself, and gain five to 15 critical stars. Huh? Interesting. Gives you invincible, increases your attack, gives you critical star gain per turn, and that turn as well, um, which is. You know quite helpful because a lot of the times when you use the critical star generation every turn on the turn that you use it you literally have no critical stars <laughs> you know so this kind of mitigates that you get critical star gain on that turn as well um cooldown maximum cooldown is nine minimum cooldown is seven okay 
which I guess it makes sense. It gives you like invincible for two turns, two times. So keeping the cooldown a bit on the larger side kind of makes sense. Um, gravity man. Okay, the second skill is called gravity manipulation B. Increases Buster card effectiveness by 20 to 30 percent for three turns. Buster card critical star gather rate by 300 to 500 percent for three turns, and critical strength for 20 to 30 percent for three turns for yourself. Again, cooldown is eight. Maximum minimum is six. Oh, so this increases Buster card effectiveness and critical star gather rate and critical strength. So basically, you know, like you gain your critical stars using the first skill. Um, then you use the second skill to gather all the critical stars in your Buster cards. And then huge do huge damage because the second skill buffs up your buster card critical strength as well and also increases the buster card effectiveness the third one is called uh, extreme warfare a decrease charge for all enemies plus increase NP gauge 10 percent for yourself depending on the number of enemies oh and increase NP gauge by 10 to 20 percent and NP gain by 20 to 30 percent for yourself okay in interesting in uh, cooldown Maximum 9, minimum 7. Mm. Wait a minute. So, it decreased charge for all enemies. Increase NP cost by 10% for yourself depending on number of enemies. So, wait. The maximum number of enemies you can have on the battlefield is 6, I think. You know, when you have like 2 rows. 6, or is there... Has there been more than 6? Or Wait, I, I cannot remember. Is it 6 or is it 9? I cannot remember. God damn. I cannot remember. Let me know. Um, but the more enemies you'll have, you know, the more... So you can literally, like, boost up your NP, like, in one turn only by using this skill. The more enemies you have. It will depend on that, though. Um, right. And it also increases NP gain, which will help you gain some NP. Okay. When you do deal damage. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's look at her NP. Her NP is Origin Flare, yet Chaotic, A+, plus Buster. Increase NP Strength, overcharge 10 to 30% for one turn. Apply Special Attack, Lawful by 30% for one turn. Special Attack, Good by 30% for one turn. Deal Ruler Class Servant, Special Attack Damage. Oh, okay. NP 600 to 1000%, plus 200% to one enemy. And increase NP Gods 20% for yourself. Right. Okay, so it basically deals damage and increases NP strength, gives a few special attacks to certain characters, and uh, increase NP gauge. Okay. All right, interesting. Wait, so. But she's a single target, so. Hmm. I guess you can, you know. Yeah, I guess with Koyanskaya and other, you know, like ways you can increase her NP. Um, right, all right. So I'm not really. I I think she's she's good. Like you know, she obviously it seems she's like Buster focused, like extremely. Like you know, like she, you can increase her critical style, critical you know, grab the rate, do the Buster cards, and you you deal like huge critical damage using her second skill then you also have like her helping you gain np uh, her np also helps you gain np you know which increases your np gauge for a little bit you know all these things so she seems like buster and np focused you know um right okay passives entity of outer realm d gain two critical stars per turn and increase debuff resist for yourself madness enhancement c increase buster card effectiveness by six percent uh, magic resistance speed debuff is 17.5% for yourself. Alt reactor A plus increase debuff risk by 21% for yourself. Append 3 deal increase damage 20 to 30% against assassin enemies. Hmm. Right. So okay, she seems you know, she seems okay. I think she's go she's like one of those uh, crazy buster single target uh, like you know like offensive character. She's probably one of like you know, she she she's like that. You can deal a lot of damage with her, like you know, focusing on her Buster card. Like just bring out of bring out a few support characters who increases her Buster damage, and then you know go crazy with her. Her uh, her NP is also Buster, so that'll help you deal more Buster damage there as well. 
you know, and you can use her second skill to gather the critical stars on her buster card and deal huge damage. So she seems like that, basically. Um, right. So overall, she also seems like a good solid character. So all the three characters that looks really good. Obviously, BB is like very special. Like she has very few, like she seems extremely versatile. She has quite a few things you can do with her and the ways you can, I guess, use her on certain situations, you know. So obviously, BB is a five star character. It makes sense. She's very special. So that's that. Um, Summer Talok also seems very good. Her, all her skills seems very much interconnected with each other. And it like really makes her very strong. And at least that's how I saw her. And while Mr. Sharon X seems like that crazy buster damage dealer, you know, who just, you know, like goes crazy with buster attacks and buster noble phantasm. Um, that's what it seems like to me. Overall, each of them has their own specialities and they, you know, like the kind of shine in it, I think at least. I think all the servants are quite good. Let me know your opinion. Um, and uh, yeah, so there you go. That was my reaction to all the characters in this, um, you know, like in this banner, in this event, this archetype inception, you know. So yeah, great. I'm, I'm, I love all the characters. Obviously, BB is definitely the best one. And I just love, like, I think I've, I've mentioned this for the 10th time, but I love BB's first ascension. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to what they're going to do with the third ascension. Um, yeah, so let's let's wait and see. Um, right. Anyways, so there you go, guys. That was it. Now the all the, the question that I always answer at the end of uh, my videos: um, Will I be summoning for them, um, BB and all the others, two years later in NA? Yes, I plan to at least. You know, like my plan is obviously getting space Elishkigal. You know, that would be my first priority two years later. Um, and uh, like no not only space air shield but two years later my main priority will be uh the mahoyo characters and space air um <clears throat> then all the other characters so after that i'll like you know i'll definitely try to keep a little bit for bb to try to get her so bb is there on my radar you know like um uh, bb dubai and i definitely want to pull for her two years later in na in JP though, I've already gotten her. I, I mentioned it and the video is probably out by this time as well. Um, you know, my summoning video. So yeah, like yeah, I'll definitely try to get her two years later. So yeah, that is it guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below. Anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, I'll check them out. That is it guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, when the third ascension for BB will come out, uh, I will make a separate video on that and react to her third ascension so yeah so there you go so yeah see you guys in the next video until then goodbye and have a nice day